Hello, my name is Joachim Niren. I'm product manager at Google Cloud. In this video, we'll introduce risk scoring with attack path simulations, a capability in Security Command Center. Security Command Center provides you with sophisticated and detailed insights on your security posture, including asset visibility, misconfigurations, vulnerabilities, detection of malicious activity, compliance, and more. We want to provide you with even further capabilities. We want to enable you to identify what findings create the most risk to your environment in terms of exposing your resources towards potential attackers. To quantify how exposed your specific environment is to potential attacks and track and visualize how you improve over time. To take targeted actions, what to address first, second and third in order to be the most effective every day. Providing these capabilities are about attack paths, combining the insights on each specific finding with the context, your infrastructure, your IAM, relationships between resources and systems, etc. Let me provide some examples. A finding that has a high severity score might be very hard to reach as it is deep down in the architecture. A finding might be easy to reach, but not related to your high value resources. Instead, you might have two lower severity findings that in combination creates the biggest exposure. Or it might be that access rights created by one team in combination with some new finding in another team's infrastructure together create a highway to some high value resources. Introducing attack path simulations in Security Command Center. The concept consists of three steps, model generation, attack path simulations, and insights on exposures and mitigations. Starting with model generation. Based on your specific environment, your resources, relationship between resources, configurations, etc., a big graph is created. These graphs, which we call models, are representations of your environment, including all the relationships, etc. This is all automated and requires no agents. SEC then simulates attacks where virtual attackers try everything and anything on your model to reach and compromise your high value resources. The simulations enable insights on all potential paths from the attacker to your high value resources. What are the paths of least resistance to those high value resources and what security findings are enabling these paths? Quantification of how exposed your resources are to potential attacks and what to address first, second and third to be the most effective. Note that all simulations are conducted on models, which means that the simulations that does not interfere with your live environment. And you can conduct what if scenarios, make tests before implementation and include both knowns and unknowns in the analysis. Let's dig into more details. Here's an example attack path. To the very left, there is the attacker in the simulations. In this case, an external attacker is simulated, but you can also simulate insiders. And the attackers can have more or less capabilities to represent everything from an APT to a script kitty. In the simulations, the attacker tries everything and anything to reach your high value resources. The attack logic is built into the tool. The simulations leverages insights on each specific node and edge including network relations, IAM, configurations, misconfigurations, vulnerabilities, etc. And provides insights into how an attacker can traverse your network to reach and compromise your valued resources. In this example, we see that the critical path, meaning the path of least resistance, is leveraging a specific CVE that in combination with access rights enable the attacker to assume a service account and in turn perform action on a big query table with valuable data. Addressing this specific CVE is thus key. Use cases for attack path simulations are vast. From vulnerability and posture management 
to CISO risk management and progress tracking, to threat management and incident response, and DevSecOps empowering DevOps teams, to name a few. In this video, let's now dig into the use case of findings prioritization. What we want to do is to identify what findings create the most risk to your organization. The automated attack pod simulations enable you to do exactly this. Running simulations in the background, identifying all potential paths to your valuable resources, and providing attack exposure scores on findings based on to what extent each finding contributes to exposing valuable resources. This enables your team to distill which findings to focus on.